Greetings one, greetings all. I'm in the town of Millham. This is my ancestral home. I haven't been back for a long, long time. I'm going to have a nice look around, see some of the features. I hope you'll enjoy this little look around Millham. Millham is a town on the estuary of the River Dudden in Cumbria, which in Victorian times was merely a small hamlet by the name of Holborn Hill. This is Millham Castle and we are standing on the southern edge of a moat that in the past surrounded the heart of the vast estate of the medieval lords of Millham. By Millham Castle is the old church, Holy Trinity, which is the parish church, the original church here in Millham. There are two churches, St George's is down, St George's is down in the town centre. This is quite a moment for me. Uh, I found the grave of one of my ancestors. Uh, we'll have a look at it here. And I may have to read it out to you. Thomas Dawson of Steel Green, who died August the 3rd, 1915, aged 75 years. Agnes, beloved wife of Thomas Dawson, died at Steel Green, September 10th, 1910, aged 65 years. Who were they? Well, they were my great grandfather's mother and father. Uh, Thomas Dawson was actually born in Seathwaite, um, which is up on the hills, and came to work in in the mines um, uh, as soon he was as he was of age, um, and he's lived here all his all his working life and died here. There's also another. I didn't know this. Um, also Thomas, their son, died May 12th, 1884, aged 15 years. Also Agnes Jane, their daughter, died September 20th, 1899, aged 26 years. I didn't know that. I think it's time to go up and have a look at Hogbarrow, the old mine, see what remains. It's incredible to think that before iron ore was discovered here, Millen was just, just a very small hamlet, a few houses thrown together. It became massive, it became a massive industry, a massive town as people poured in. I'm currently stood on Hodbarrow Mine, the mine that was here. Uh, it was here from the late 1800s until it closed in the late 1960s. It employed thousands upon thousands of men. Uh, and women probably, including my ancestors who came down from Seathwaite, which is over yonder. Uh, they came down to seek work and settled in the town and uh, relatives all over the town of Millham. Because to all intents and purposes Millen was a new town, it was built basically from scratch, just from the hamlet. Uh, a lot of areas were designated as parklands for the people and here we have a massive green area, the Cricket Club, right smack in the middle of town. And 
this is St George's which is right in the middle of town. What we've got in Milan is three different urbanisations. We've got the original hamlet, if you will, just a few original houses thrown together. We have then the uh, industrial, the industrialisation of the whole area and the houses that sprung up from there. And now we have modern housing springing up. Every town in Britain has an ancient and a modern uh, aspect to it. Um, different urbanisations, different connotations. And Millen is exactly the same as you'd expect. What is interesting is that because Millen grew very, very quickly in the 1860s, there's still today a lot of room for development within and without of the town. Uh, we've seen along the Devonshire Road a number of industrial units springing up even today. I hope you've enjoyed this trip around Millam and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Looking for a 